back in the 747. This time we're with the 747-8. And uh, Lufthansa, we're going to fly from Frankfurt all the way over to Los Angeles. Fairly long flight, 11 to 12 hours. And um, yeah, just like the video before with the 747-400, we're going to be flying without FSD crew and doing everything ourselves. So without further ado, let's get started. Man pumps are off, wipers are off, gears down, alternate flaps off, off, flaps up, indicating agrees, indication agrees, West ties auto, and unlike the freighter, we can select both external powers on. We're going to select the nav light on, and we'll do the preliminary cockpit preparation right with it. IRS is to nav. Emergency ace lights arm. The voice recorder would be selected on, but it's not uh, simulated here. We go to the status page. Verify any messages. Um, verify hydraulic quantities, oxygen uh, quantities, pressures. Hit the database and the UGC date and everything. Make sure that's all up to date, but uh, the GPS is still loading. Uh, it's still powering up, so we don't see that just yet. Engines. Indications, oil quantity, that's checked. ICAST messages, that first page looks normal, we'll cancel. Second page is also normal, we'll cancel. The uh, emergency equipment is all here. Um, the hatch is closed. It does, the Dash 8 does not have a smoke handle, smoke evacuation handle. And we're going to go to the overhead panel. And make sure all guards are closed. This is set to TR only light that is allowed is the split system breaker open that's because we're using both external powers I'm going to set this to high um, or as desired off and everything else looks normal circuit breakers are all pushed in and checked and we'll go ahead and set the parking brake and that should also it doesn't matter what this is set to what matters is what is indicating here if you can have the set but you might forget that you don't have any accumulator pressure and at the end that means the parking brake really is not set. So really what matters is what is here. And that applies to pretty much every aircraft. Alright, um, we can now go back to status. GPS should be up and running now. There we go, database is up to date. UGC is checked. It is 47 approximately. Date is also checked. So we'll go to the FMC, we'll do it like so, FMC, the model is up to, uh, not up to date, I keep saying that, model is correct, the engine type is correct, the nav database is up to date, and this is all correct. Go Frankfurt, cross check the uh, coordinates, they look fine, so we're going to use the GPS and paste that in. In the meantime, we're going to go ahead and review our flight plan, our NOTAMs, things like that. Um, and uh, we'll initialize A cards once the irises are aligned. I'll also get the ATIS, so weather. According to Active Skies, QNH 1019, -er, -er, and we can confirm that with 122.0. So, um, again, I'm going to review the flight plan, and uh, once I'm done with that, the IRS should be aligned, and we'll then set up uh, A cards. Alright, so ACARS is initialized, I checked the flight plan, everything, and NOTAMs, as well as the charts, and we can now continue with the uh, CDU pre-flight procedures, so we're going to go ahead and set up the CDU. We'll go to Root, Frankfurt to LAX, look on the trip to Alpha, we'll send a request. Alright, uploaded, Romans 07 Center, the departure and arrivals, Romans 07 Center, Baca 1 Delta, Arrival. 
Angel four. Hackman. Alice two for right. Most likely by a Cebu. Nope, Circus. Interesting. Cebu would be south. Let's yeah. All right, we'll go to the next page and verify the routing. We can activate and execute the changes. Go to alternate and we'll plug in our um, EDTOs or extended diversion time operations airports, which is the KF and the CYYR. Then our destination alternate is Vegas. And then we'll have one free for our nearest airport or nearest uh, alternate. So that is set. Back to root performance in it. We'll reject the information. Respecting is we'll plug in minus 47 in here. Keep this at zero or sorry, 20 or keep it at calculated. So um, not large step size zero initial climb three two zero cost the next 70. And our zero fuel weight is 263.1. What we're expecting at least, and that is entered, giving us a gross weight 391.1. Um, that's about right. We'll go to legs, the data, and load the wind data. load and what we will also do is enter in the steps climbs that we're expect um, so we're, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go back to wind and we're gonna plug in different values We're going to plug in uh, 320, 340, 360, and 380. And then we'll plug in, once we reach around 360, we can plug in 390 uh, and 400 as well. Go to back to root data and send the request. And we will load and execute. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and check our SID and our waypoints. Um, it's really gonna make sure that everything's connected as well as the restrictions for the uh, SID is in. Then go back, VNAV, transition altitude here in Frankfurt or in Germany is transition is 5,000, so we'll plug that in. Um, this is check 270, flight level 100, we'll need to uh, get ADC clearance to um, pass the restriction of 250 knots, that's checked. Next page, optimum 329, again we're done with fueling and everything and all the wind data is uplinked, so this should be accurate. Optimum 329er, going 320 initially, max 366, recommended 360, that's fine. We're also in the correct mode, we want to go, we want to stay at econ. And then this does not really bother us right now. Go to FMC communication, verify nothing is empty so, or nothing needs to be uplinked. Everything looks good. And then we'll go to progress page and we'll check the f distance and the fuel that is, that is being calculated. So the distance, ground distance, 529 or 2, 5287, so that's fine means in theory we should have a little bit more fuel here than what the flight plan plans with um, yep and that's correct flight plan plans with 16.2 and the FMC calculates 16.5 next we'll go to fixed information FFM VOR and uh, 25 miles so this is our engine out procedure we'll select 5,000 here for our transition altitude that is 
checked and set for the engine uh, for the uh, ETOS. I'm gonna call it. I know it's not ETOS because we have four engines. It's the EDTO. There's just no way. There's just no way. A nice way of saying it. Um, and the uh, diversion time operations. We're gonna go ahead and set our uh, airports. So BIKF and speed YYR. And then we're gonna also put in our equi time point. So for the flight plan, distance four four seven eight should be the distance. And then for C Y Y R, it should be four seventy four. And our equi time point is at north five seven two six decimal three. West zero four three two two decimal O, and this is something you cannot do with the seven forty seven four hundred. Only this FMC you can do it. So um, that should be our equi time port. We're gonna go ahead and plug in twenty mile approximately, or you can even do less. Doesn't matter. Um, and we can technically check that if we wanted to. So in this range here, in this area right here, is where. Um, Basically, we're on our own. And we're gonna go ahead and continue with the RadNav page. I'm gonna go ahead and set FFM on the right and Metro on the left. That's also entered. Then we're gonna go to Route, Route Copy, go to Route 2, plug in Frankfurt, go to Departures, Arrivals, Arrival for Route 2. His ILS 07 right by uh, um, I think Talonus will be fine, but we don't need we don't need to do it via. Go back to route one, in at ref, and that should be the FMC complete. All right, we'll go to the overhead now, and we'll do the scan. Everything looks good here. That's all checked. Everything is normal. Lights are normal. Rest is checked here. Nothing pushed out, pushed in. No abnormal lights. X feeds come on. Valve lights should extinguish. That's good. That's all checked. No abnormal lights. No. All guards are closed. Everything's on that should be on. Everything is off that should be off. Recirculation fans stay off for the uh, air conditioning card as well as the packs. These are all normal. This is all checked. Now light is on. Alright, first officer flow, flight director comes on. Go to checklist and we will reset all the checklist. And in the meantime, we'll do an oxygen test. Okay, that's checked. And pressure is fine. Hit complete. Initialize the flight on this side. This is set as required. 12 o'clock positions. Lights are all normal. Toga, toga. No V speed is the only flag. The rest is checked. And no, TCAS off is the only flag here. The rest looks good to go. This all checks out. Everything looks no good. Left FMC EIU auto. Normal off. No abnormal lights. Auto brake RTO. Gear is down. And we'll continue here. We'll set the frequencies as we desire. 122.8. Oops. One to one emergency frequency and then eight is on the standby. This is set to data. Let's check the rest of it looks good. You can do a weather radar test. Victor winter comes up here, looks good. Pattern is correct. That's fine, the rest is checked. Seatbelt signs can come on because fueling is completed. 
We'll set up our ACP for the first officer. No one, we would do a TCAS test, but this panel does not have it. We'll set this to above. Next, the captain's flow. Keep these disengaged for now. Initial heading 067. Initial climb expecting 5,000. We'll just take the fly out of the, uh, yep, 5,000. Okay. And it's actually 066 now. It changed. So this is all checked. We'll cycle through the systems. Fuel is balanced. That's good. Air conditioning cart is doing a good job. And the, uh, that's all normal. Yep, that's all normal. Just verify the quantities once more. They're in correct there as well. Doors, that's all checked. Gear, uh, 200 psi approximately pressure and temperature should be our ambient temperature. 15 degrees. Um, that's fine. Info is not simulated. Okay. That's checked. We can go to the checklist page and we'll continue with the flow. That's checked. So that's all set. We'll do the, uh, we'll initialize complete. We'll initialize the flight, do an oxygen test here as well. And it looks fine. 12 o'clock position lights are good, everything's checked, no V speeds, everything else looks fine. TCAS off, everything else looks fine. No flags here. And um, that's all checked. Okay. We'll do the pre-flight checklist. Oxygen, test it 100%. Not flight instruments heading 337, 337. Altimeters 1019 or 1019 and no deviation for more than uh, 35 feet. Which is checked. And no difference between 75 feet for the uh, elevation. The elevation here is 364. That's 20 feet difference here, approximately. That's more than fine. Your flight checklist is completed. All right, so we've got the final load sheet and we're gonna go ahead and plug in the values, so. 63.1, 391.1 gross weight, that's checked. Our uh, reserves is 10.7. Plug that in. We're gonna go to performance. We're gonna copy the FMC data. Ops optimum, AC on, anti is not required. Condition will be dry, 0, 5, 0 at six. Take off one, or just take off. Give us a 93.6. And that's already invalid. So we're going to go take off, calculate. Lapse 10, 6171. So let's go ahead and press limit, take off. Room temperature 51 degrees, 94.5, 93.6. That's fine. This is built because the packs are off. Take off flaps 10. PG22, both slash dry. And as long as they're within, I think with a large aircraft like these, it's normally within two knots. If it's a smaller aircraft like AC20 or 737, it's within one knot. You can accept the FNC calculated speeds. So those are all good. And so we're gonna go 182. All nav VNAV can be armed. Check progress page again, and that's all checked. And then we can go back to takeoff. Go ahead and start the APU.
So now we're just going to wait for the doors to close and then we're pretty much ready for the uh, before start procedures. And so all doors are closed, we're going to wait till all of them are armed and then we'll uh, do the before start procedure. We'll request the pressurized hydraulics and once we get clearance we'll do so. So, last one, we're waiting to arm, there we go. So, four to aux, one to aux, two and three to auto, verify the lights extinguish. We go, fill pumps. Let's see what kind of fuel we have. No fuel in the center tanks. That surprises me actually. Speaking of both, recall, that's checked. Engine page. Well first we'll do a checklist and then engine page. So light deck door. Closed and locked. MCP V2182 heading 066 altitude 5000 take us feeds V1160 VR170 V2182 video brief like completed trims 6.7 units set 0 and 0 taxi and TR briefing completed beacon on before star checklist is completed communications are okay and the bracers set thanks Brace released. Okay, commencing pushback. Alright, starting four and three. Running two and one. The push is complete. Please set the brakes. Brakes are set. Four taxi checklist, anti ice, auto, recall, checked, flight controls, checked, ground equipment is clear. Thanks and have a good flight. Taxi to the runway.
on runway zero seven left. Frankfurt traffic departing runway zero seven center. Frankfurt traffic. All right, let's get out of here. Lights. Camera action. Go initial forty five. Stable. Go go. is checked. Gears coming up. I'll nav. Trust ref, we now speed. Thrust. Outside. That's one. And flaps up. Alright, so um, we're going to go ahead and prepare for the descent, something I don't normally do in videos either, but maybe I'll start to include some more of it. And with that, I realize that I tend to include more of the pre-flight, and then basically like two-thirds of the video is pre-flight and takeoff, and then only one-third of the video is landing. Uh, not even a third, so uh, maybe I need to add more towards the end part of the flight, so I'll, I'll test things out. So we're about 145 nautical miles, not about exactly 144 now, 
and uh, first things we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, get the weather and we're gonna check that this top of the scent here is correct but first let's go and get the weather because we want to verify that the runway is checked so one to two decimal zero two five i'm gonna tune it over and then uh get the um atus however i already i've already done that so we're gonna go ahead and plan the arrival and the way we're gonna do that is we're actually gonna confirm all the value everything that we have here except i'm gonna try an rnav um i know this aircraft is not capable of r and p ar approaches um it does not have a radio uh radio to fix but um we'll try an rnav zulu two four right anyways uh by a circus i believe it was right circus we're gonna hit execute kobe is our final approach fix we're gonna plug kobe in here to put a two mile radius around kobe we're also gonna plug in 18,000 feet in here as well we're gonna start with recall make sure nothing uh, abnormal shows up here um, for the landing performance we're going to calculate as well uh, we're going to cross the calculations and uh flaps 30 for normal operations flaps 25 for either long runways or if winters expected or obstacles need to be avoided during the go around um we're gonna it, th although generally uh los angeles has long runways the runway 24 ride is not as long uh, plus we would like to vacate as soon as we can um so we can uh so our taxi time is reduced so we're going to go with flaps 30 today. So performance and uh, we're going to go switch to landing and we're going to go en route because it gives us also brake calculations. So reverse all operational, runway 24 right, condition is dry. We'll copy FMC data that we have. Um, no non-normal, complete, brakes. We'll calculate without a brake two, NTS off. AC on, flaps 30, winds 240, at 6, 17, 29, does one, 9 or 0. Landing weight, we'll get from the progress page. We're expecting to land with 13.8 tons, that is a difference of 0.2, 3.2. Our current weight is 280.1. So 276.9er, 6900, add 5 and calculate. VRF plus 5, 148, 143, 5, 2NH, 8000 feet. So we have only 9000 feet available, as you guys can see, and it doesn't really like. So if I don't like Auto Brakes 3, I'm going to use Auto Brakes 4. Um, Give us 7,000 feet, which gives us 2,000 feet of minimum of, of headroom. And if I were to look at the chart, I would also have it confirm that I could vacate at a, at a certain. Uh, I'm trying to vacate Zulu, although we're probably not going to make it. So we're probably going to vacate Alpha Alpha, which is the second to last, uh, the second to last uh, exit point. So out of break four, it is. So we're going to go ahead and like that a piece like two niner niners zero and we're gonna do an RNP uh, we're gonna try an RNP AR at least we'll do the procedure for it of RNP 0 0.15 and that will give us put us at minimums of 484 feet so closest is 490 we we'll always round up for 90 is our minimums. Alright, going to ref, this is set, we'll go to index, nav data, nav options, then we'll go to nav options, almost like DME and VOR update to off for the RMP approach. Departure and arrival has already been set. And we'd go to the page and verify the data and the restrictions. Live plan should be within 0 0.1 of our um, of the charted glide path, and it is 3.0, and the FMC calculates 2.97, so that's fine. Verify the speed constraints 170 at final approach fixed altitude, which is fine. We'll do VRF plus 20, which is 163. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, plug in 163.
I should want to be at V ref plus five at that point, so we'll go 148. Execute. Ravinav, page three, forecast. And we'll update the winds. There we go. We'll root copy. Go to fixed information, Kobe. This is our final approach with altitude 18,000 feet is set, as we've done before. And what we're going to do is going to plug in KLAX. Put in a uh, 25 mile ring for our MSA. So that's also set. Rad nav will leave as is. That's fine. Outer break is set. Minimums set. Pre selected the QH. Uh, we'll set TCAS to below. And then we'll do the uh, we do the approach briefing. And the descent checklist. We'll go to the descent checklist recall. Just checked. Notes. Nothing to review. Checked. Outer break level 4. Any data, VREF 143, box 30, minimums 490 feet, barrel. Boat briefing completed. Descent checklist is completed. And we do a cabin announcement. Reaching 10,000. Let's see, come on. The progress, page 4. On P, so point one five and one three five. Definitely not really RNAV uh, weather, but I wanted to do it anyways.
Our status messages, none, that's checked, that's good. That's under standby, EFPs will close the flights. And once the trucks are in, they are now. We can do so. That's like the external power, if you believe we'll still use. Cut down checklist, parking brake is off, parking checklist complete. So that is the end of the flight, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have any comments, questions, or anything you'd like to tell me, please let me know, and I'll be happy to uh, read. Until next time, peace!